What's up guys, my name is Puma, welcome back to the channel and wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. As you can see here, we are in chapter 11, Oh, and we are dealing with Bray Wyatt, we're going to get into that right now. So in the last one, it's been a while since we've done my career, so I had to go back and check it. In the last one, we faced off against Zombie Triple H, we faced off against uh, Bray Wyatt at the compound and burned that fool's house down. Hell yeah, we did. We faced off against the bar with Goldust as our tag team member. And then Bray Wyatt and a dude in a jumpsuit and the sheet mask came out and attacked us. And it turned out the guy in the sheet mask was Cole Quinn. was our boy. Ugh, it was our boy. Look at Matt Hardy. What is he just talking to nobody? And then uh, we faced off at Survivor Series against Bray Wyatt in a steel cage match, which in turn had some issues. Cole Quinn came out again, but then Finn Balor as the Demon King came and evened up the odds and helped us out. So it looks like right now, oh, I went in since we got the new moves pack, gave Puma a couple of different moves, some top rope moves, some new uh, finishers and six signatures. So we are hopefully going to see those here in this video, but it looks like we can only talk to Kurt Angle, so let's do that. I thought a steel cage match was the best possible solution to settle the issues between you and Bray Wyatt, but obviously I was wrong. Yeah. So I've decided that at the Royal Rumble, you and Finn Balor will take on Bray Wyatt and Cole Quinn in an Extreme Rules match. Okay, a tag team Extreme Rules match. That's pretty awesome. So we've got Kurt Angle's side match. Okay, let's go to the multiverse. Let's talk to Matt Hardy here. <laughs> Do not express worry. I have made many successful jaunts to the multiverse. If you don't mind me asking, where exactly is it? Can I take my bug van there? Or when exactly is it? Oh, geez, this is making me <laughs> any less worried. The seven deities have deemed that the multiverse cannot be found on a map or in a calendar. Instead, it's all around us, all the time. Don't you remember from your last journey? No. Matt? No, different vessel, yeah. Oh, ah, man. yes. On your previous visit, I believe your spirit was held in the vessel of an ostrich. An ostrich. Such a fantastic <laughs> pheasant. An ostrich. Okay. Finn? You really think Matt Hardy Since can help he's me? Since become woken, he's clearly accessed some hidden away dark places. Which is exactly what you need to do if we're going to defeat Bray and rescue your friend. I'm kind of afraid to see where Matt will take me. Well, no kidding. We're going to have to drop That's acid. That's good. You can harness your fear to fuel your inner demon. Okay. Man, sometimes I miss the days when the scariest thing I had to do was dress up like the Miz. <laughs> Let's uh, do this side match. I'm not... Oh, he's not going to talk. I was thinking you and Finn Balor might want to team up tonight on Raw. That way, you two can get used to working with each other before your big match at the Royal Rumble. That's a good idea. Who would our opponents be? I figured I'd put you up against Raw's tag team specialist, The Revival. So do you want the match or no? Yes, we do. I think it's a great idea to give Finn and I a chance. So yes, we'll do it. So Puma and Finn are, are currently in the ring. We are ready and we are waiting for the revival. Now here's something that is super, super awesome about Scott Dawson over there on the right. So I have hot tag pins. I've mentioned it a few times where we create lapel pins where they're uh, surrounded or based on wrestling. And the very first one I did was Faces of the Horsemen and it had the original Four Horsemen on there. Scott Dawson not only liked it on Instagram, which I know it's just a click of a button, but somebody like Scott or, or something is super cool to me. He liked it. I sent him one, he repped it on his jacket right there, and he uh, posted it out on Instagram, and that was just so cool to me. Uh, that one, he he liked it, and two, that he was willing to pimp it out. It was so awesome. So, Scott, thank you so much for doing that. But right now, unfortunately, um, I'm going to have to beat you. So, yeah. So, into the corner he goes. Uh-oh. We, we, okay. Oh, gosh, I hate chain wrestling. Oh, we win, though. Oh, see, look how much we chain wrestled. Do you see that? The instructions came up for crying out loud. 
Come on. And bow is a shot to the back. Where are we at here? Here we go. Uh, crank it in a little bit. There we go. So one of the new moves we gave Puma. This one, bam! The inverted atomic drop and the double legs. Yep, of course, of course. So I'm interested to uh, see how they some of the new moves look in game as we take it. To, oh, okay, running DDT from Scott. Uh oh, what's he doing here? Oh, what's he doing here? Okay, now he's tagging in Dash. So I'm interested to see um, what some of these moves like look like in game. So um, if we can get to them, assuming we get our finishers and signatures and whatnot, bro. Here we go. Get off me, Finn. Loving it. Uh. Oh, I already have that move. Except it's not off the run. That's super weird. Here we go, hooking him up. Oh, good lordy. Can we roll out of the ring? We cannot. Uh, there we go, oh geez. And we can't, dang, we can't reverse or anything right now. Hey look, I was just, I was just saying how cool Scott Dawson is. Maybe don't freaking wreck me. What? Oh man, right into the knee. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember how to do some some of these things. Oh, there it is. Well, I'm not gonna tag in Finn just yet. Oh, because we just got pumped up here. And bam! Moonsault, very nice. Very, very nice. Get up. And I don't rem remember Oh, the strength, the strength of Scott Dawson. He throw, throws us all over the side there. Uh-oh, we missed the hot tag. Shoot. Oh, I have a comeback. Oh, man. I can't reverse again. And I'm getting wrecked. We're going to have to bring Finn in. We're going to have to bring Finn Balor in. It's been some time since I've been playing, you know. There we go, pop up Hurricane Rana. That's one of the new moves. I like that. Uh, uh, woo! Get up, Scott. Got him. Got him. Did we get it? I hope I didn't mess it up. Into the corner, we dodge it, and oh, and kick old dude in his face, and then we hop in. Hurricane Rana. We are full of Hurricane Ranas. Okay. I see you. So we have a signature. Let's see if we can. Oh, man. Bam. Huge power bomb to the outside. Oh, reversal from Scott Dawson. And we hook him up with another Hurricane Rana. Puma is full of Hurricane Ranas, bro. And I don't want to use a signature out here because it's um, the butterfly pile driver, I think. Puma looks awesome. So I've been thinking lately of possibly putting a smaller mask on Puma. Um, signature. This is the old one. Shoot. Bow. And now we have a finisher. I think one of my finishers is up here. Is this it? Is this one of our finishers? Nope. But this is one of the new moves. Boom! Shooting star. Nice. So we're going to try again. Because one is the shooting star. The other one is this moonsault where he touches his toes and Dawson gets his knees up. Oh, man. We got a tag. Not today, Scotty. Um, let's do our uh, one of our finishers here. Charge it up. Charge it up. Charge it up. Because I think I replaced both finishers. Boom! With that cutter. That twisting dragon cutter or whatever that's called. One. Two. Okay. Alrighty then. 
So we saw one new signature and one new finisher, and we get the victory here over the Revival without even having to bring Finn Balor in. All right, let's head to the multiverse. So there's Matt. What happens if we talk to him again? Probably just the same stuff, huh? Do not express all yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Welcome to the multiverse. It's delightful, isn't it? This is amazing. I'm tripping balls there right now, man. There's even more to see if you open your mind and look to the cosmos. You will encounter the various vessels that we have existed in. Ah, yes. Uh-oh. I was once a great Egyptian pharaoh in Giza. Giza. Unfortunately, that vessel met its demise from the bite of that wicked asp. Boy, look at <laughs> Do you remember, Brother Buzz? You roamed about Antarctica centuries ago. Was I some kind of explorer? No, you are a polar bear. No. Okay. Oh, let me guess. I was a shark too. No, no. your vessel was eaten by a shark <laughs> off the coast of Australia in the 1940s. How gruesome. Okay, okay. Oh. What's that? I think it's the Blade of Baron. Uh -oh. Matt Van Gogh. It seems as if we've slipped into the current dimension. I'm truly dimension. happy for you. I don't want to be here. Big things are happening for us. Oh. He is a soul most tortured who has lived many conflicted existences. Wakey, wakey. wakey. I said I don't want to be here. Make it stop. You must you face your fears to, to find your inner demon, yeah, brother Buzz. No. I warned oh, you not to get on Triple H's bad time. Uh, Boom is like tripping. You're like a son to me. You're like a son to me. Stop! That's it! You oh. did it! You're now ready to create your alter ego that will walk beside the Demon King. Well, I wonder how that's going to work. We wear a mask. Oh man. Here we go. Holy crap. The Deceiver. Look at that. King Cobra, Megalodon, or Arctic Bohemoth. Look at King Cobra, Jesus. But of course the Deceiver looks the best, which I'm sure everyone has chosen the Deceiver. Man, I do like Arctic Behemoth. But I do like King Cobra too. Oh man, what do we pick? Man, the Deceiver though, he looks super cool. Um... I, I'm going to go with Arctic Behemoth. Yep, I'm going to do that one. Yes! You are now ready to delete the consumer of terrestrial entities. Yes! Hey, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I've been tripping balls, Wake Finn. Up. I'm talking to you. Finn? Where have you been? I was in the multiverse with Matt Hardy finding my inner demon, just like you suggested. Yeah, just like you. You've been gone for weeks. What? Weeks? Welcome back, Brother Buzz. I neglected to mention that the multiverse <laughs> creates rifts in the Earth's time spectrum. What felt like 30 mortal minutes was indeed many weeks. Oh, God. But it was well worth it. In your effort to make the vile Bray Wyatt obsolete. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, apparently we've been gone for fucking You're ever. You're probably a little out of sorts right now, but our big tag match versus Bray Wyatt and Cole is tonight. 
so you need to get your head on straight if we're going to defeat them and have any chance of helping Cole get out from under Bray's control. Don't worry, okay? I may have been gone for much longer than expected, but I found what I was looking for. Yeah, I did. And you'll be seeing it tonight. Here we go, Finn Balor and the Demon King. Or I guess Finn Balor is the Demon King, I should say. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. How long is this freaking little entrance? Come on, brother. So, apparently the Arctic Behemoth it's not really going to fit real well, I don't think. I don't know. There he is, the Demon King. Oh! And we stand behind him super close and <laughs> super creepy. On the way to the ring. Oh, man. combined weight of 395 pounds. Oh, boy. Why wouldn't they get why wouldn't the announcer say your name? Arctic Behemoth or Megalodon and all that. All right, we're going to skip this this could take for freaking ever. Here we go. Am I going to wrestle with the hat on? Is this Red Dead Redemption? What is this? Oh, Bray immediately slapping us down here. Oh man. No. Get out of here, Bray. Man, he, okay. We, we've got to do some damage to Bray Wyatt here. Turn around. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get. If you don't get off of me. Uh, nice. We've got to do a little bit of work here. Shoot. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We're using up all our reversal stocks. We just used it up here. There we go, big drop kick. Here we go. We're gonna get some offense here on the Eater of Worlds with with our freaking polar bear hat on. Uh. Nice kick there. All right, it, this is extreme rules here, kids. So it's time to delete. Delete. Cole, Cole, get away from there. I hate to have to do this to you, man, because you are my bestest of friends. Oof. Shot there by Bray. Oh, nice jawbreaker there from Puma, though. On the outside. Banish Firefly, whatever that's called. Oh, Bray. Jeez. Back into the ring is Bray. And Puma. Oh, man, what a clothesline from Bray Wyatt, but we no-sell it. Big chop there. Oh, okay. Nope, not doing that. Here we go. Bam. And we're going to drop him. Drop it on him. Uh. -huh. Here we go. Going up top. Finn, don't mess with Bray. God dang it, Finn. Now look what you've done. I got to get down. All right, well, you know what? Come here, Cole. Uh-oh. Cole hooked us up with a neck breaker. Back up we go. Cole, I don't think so, man. Can I can I? Dang, he got us with the bat. Oh, jeez. I need to pay attention to what's going on in the ring, too. Finn's about to shotgun the crap out of Bray. Yeah, he is. Oh, now we got our finisher. Our second finisher. Oh, man. We're about to hit our finisher at the same time. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh, shoot. 
There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect ending. He did it. He took channeling his inner demon to walk alongside the demon king, Finn Balor. But Buzz has finally defeated Bray Wyatt. But where does Cole Quinn stand in all of this now? What's he doing? It's over Wake now, up, brother. Cole. It's over now, Cole. I never cared about you, but I do. Come with me. Everything will be okay. Come with me, Cole. And he lays the sheet I'm mask. Sorry, Buzz. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's all over. Pick him up, Puma, and then hit him with a diamond cutter or something. You coming? He's coming. Look at him. We've we've saved our friend. Oh, oh, I, man. This is bigger than revenge. Buzz has seemingly rescued his friend Cole from Bray Wyatt's control. And now he's face to face with the Demon King. What? We about to two sweep? Woo! Finn Balor just doesn't throw that gesture around. It's reminiscent of what we saw between Buzz and AJ in Japan. It's damn right. It means that Finn Balor and Puma, I don't know why I keep saying Buzz, have formed a bond that won't soon be broken. And there we go, the end of chapter 11. We gained a, we gained a ton of XP. Some cash. All right, well, here we go. Uh, we do have some messages here. Let's check them out. Think we proved think we proved we make quite the team. Look forward to doing it again sometime. Welcome to the club. Okay. You finally beat Bray, and your demon look was so cool. Good job, Buzz. All right. No idea what happened last few weeks. Feel like it was a bad dream. Thanks for helping me get rid of Bray. You are a true friend. Cole, I will do anything for Cole Quinn. Here's Baron. Saw what you did for Cole. Hope he's okay from here on out. Nice to know he's got you looking out for him. Okay. Look at this picture of Jason Jordan and when I had the Intercontinental Championship. Ah, jeez. All right. Well, I mean, we're going to end it right here. We um, finished up Chapter 11. So I'm wondering. I'm, I'm, I don't know how many chapters left. I haven't been following people's uh, my careers, mainly because I just want to keep it to myself. But, yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully, in the new year, I can start getting these episodes out to you or getting something out to you. Um, I'll do a separate video over some of the things that I have and um, we can go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your continued support. Go check out hottagpins.bigcartel.com. I'll leave the link down in the description below and then buy a pen. That'll help. That'll support me so much and I'm, I'm happy to do it for you guys. It's just I'm having a blast doing that. So thank you guys so much. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're not. Peace.